They have some diplomas hanging here on the wall from the Carlisle Indian Industrial School. It's quite an opportunity here for the Western Heritage Center with all the artifacts and pictures and memorabilia to help tell the story of Indian boarding schools. It is uh, kind of gut-wrenching when you look at the handcuffs and imagining children having to wear these. Cecilia Gavinsky is the collections manager at the Western Heritage Center. Her grandfather was a rosebud Sioux and was put into a boarding school in South Dakota. Just the way they had been treated and, you know, so it does, it brings it home. And so he actually wrote a book and it's in part of his book. The handcuffs are just one of the artifacts actually used at the boarding schools. It's a powerful energy once you get to, to stand next to it. So the idea that you would have that done as you entered like a school situation like that is pretty appalling. Kevin Koistra, executive director at the Western Heritage Center, shows a barber chair used at boarding schools. They're going to cut their hair off. They're going to change their clothes. They're going to impose kind of a sense of military rules about what they can say or what they can speak. Can they dance? You know, all of these things are supposedly good for them to eradicate all those elements of their own personal cultural backgrounds. The traveling exhibit does show some celebrations, such as Olympic and professional athlete Jim Thorpe, who played football at the Carlisle Indian School in Pennsylvania. He becomes recognized because of his athletic skill set and uh, becomes well known throughout the United States. I don't know if people knew that he was connected to Carlisle. And there's the energy and excitement of the marching band. They're marching and they're making art and just having um, that part of it, so it's not all completely sad. But there are sad parts to the children in the Indian boarding schools. And I think people are going to have very strong emotional impacts when they come and visit. What is our place in our history and how, how do we uh, look back in these events and what do we learn from these events? The exhibit runs through May 25th. In Billings, David J. MTN News.